Your style, my style, freestyle. Freestyle interactive show here on Galaxy 102.5. Today is a day where we've got a jam packed studio because the brothers from Africa they're here um, from Bonkina Faso, all West African actually, and then one from Cameroon. Um, I'm gonna play a track now from uh, Muntu <coughs> Valdo from Cameroon. His musical style he coined it as Sewa Blues and um, he's from Cameroon. So we're gonna have, um, we're gonna hear a lot more from him. We're gonna learn more about Muntu Valdo today here. And also the brothers from Bonkina Faso. They're all here. Um, it's a quite a, a big group. You know, Africans don't work, you know, they don't work singular, they work in numbers, you know. So they're all here. Joel, um, Kabu, um, Kabu, Kabab, Kabab, Kabula, he's here, and then Wally Lom is here, Mama Ture, and um, you have Matthew, um, is also here, the bass guitar. Um, it's quite a full house, but I don't think we can hear from Matthew, maybe later on, because he's in the studio somewhere. But um, it's a full house, and it'll be interesting to really speak to them, because I'm looking forward to it. But before, in the meantime, let's speak to one who's lived here in London for quite a long time, and he's actually... Um, kind of contributed to the artistic um, nature and sound here um, of London and he's, um, he's part of us now and he's um, Muntu Valdo. This is the track from his album um, The One and The Many. himself and um, the way he's really enjoying himself and I think to myself he needs to tell us what he's saying there so I want to welcome you to Galaxy 102.5 this Saturday afternoon the 9th of uh, Mosiah what you say January so good afternoon to you Montevaldo hey good afternoon you Feferiti are you Feferiti? <laughs> <laughs> you can say Feferiti is freestyle freestyle <laughs> <laughs> He's a naughty one, as you can tell. <laughs> but tell us anyway. Welcome to um, Galaxy Water oh, Two Point Five. Thank you. Thank you. Happy New Year to every, to all the listeners. 
Yes, and um, yeah, I'm very happy to be here. This is the first time, right? Of course, it's the first time. Yeah, there's always the first time. Absolutely. So, how are you feeling right now in uh, the Galaxy Studios? Uh, it's very warm here. Warm because we have a lot of people here. My my brothers um, from Burkina Faso, Mali, Senegal, but they're coming from Paris. Yes. You as well. <laughs> my, uh, my brother, Arch, you know. It's very warm here. Music is nice, the ambience. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy. Fantastic. Great. So the track, um, you're from your album, The One and the Many. Yeah. Um, this is a um, track called um, Musing. Musing. Yeah. Um, what is that? What is what are you saying there? Musing is like, um, um, Musing means your interest. So I'm, I'm, I'm talking to, anyway, not me, the person who is singing. He's talking to a girl to tell her that, you know, it's good to, you know, to just wander around, but you're getting old, you know, mm -hmm. get yourself a husband and get yourself a family and everything you know mm -hmm. this good life enjoying going up and down is good but you know yeah you have you know find yourself a, a man to love properly uh -huh. find make a family and you know do the normal thing yeah create you know after you you'll be you know life goes on you are you have to have children you have mm. to have family you have mm. to continue the you know, humanity. That's right. I yeah. mean, this is a wonderful concept that um, yeah. as Africans, you know, we carry all the time about family yeah. and procreation. Um, are you just talking to the women there or are you just talking to the men as well? Uh, it could be applied to everybody, men and uh -huh. women, but especially this song, uh, it was about a young lady who was very beautiful, mm -hmm. very intelligent, you know, mm -hmm. but she won date with people in, in neighborhood uh -huh. because she always thinks she was very sophisticated above everybody. Uh -huh. So I told her, you know, look, life is going on. Yeah. You know, women, we're not, they, they're not like men, you know. Yeah. You need to have, by by the time you, you reach a certain age, you yes. need to have children. Absolutely. And you won't just have children like this. Find yourself a good man. You, know, <laughs> that is so easy. you see, the African African musicians are not just a musician playing for fun. They do it as an advisor as well. They like the counselors. So welcome to Galaxy Water 2.5. Thank you very much. Your sound, you mainly coin it um, Sewa Blues. Yeah. Tell us about that. Yeah. Now I'm used to it, but actually that name came from um, journalists, people like you in Paris. I was living in Paris. Mm -hmm. I, li I lived in Paris for seven years. Mm. And uh, when I had my first album, not this one, called Gods and Devils, mm -hmm. um, it's true that a lot of sounds there were kind of bluesy. So people were like, um, you're not an American musician, you're doing a sound who sound like blues, mm -hmm. but you're not a Malian, mm -hmm. you know, musician, like, because mm -hmm. at that time you had that trend about Mali blues or, or, you know, or desert blues or something. Yes, yes. I'm not from the desert, mm -hmm. I'm from West Central Africa, you know. So they say, where are you from? I say I'm from Cameroon, but um, I'm from uh, uh, um, the coast of Cameroon. Mm -hmm. And there we call ourselves Sour People. Yeah. Yeah. So that word came, Sour Blues. Can we say Sour Blues about your music? I say, why not? <laughs> so this is Sour uh, now, yeah. So you was actually, uh, your name was contributed, um, you know, in terms of what you do, and um, that's how you got the name. Yeah. But tell us about your place in Cameroon, because you came from a uh, Sour region in Cameroon. Tell us about you know give us a little picture about um moon to growing up in that bigger because then it was in a small place come on you know it was a massive place yeah, you know as a yeah. child tell us the beauty of sewa yes yes uh, i actually i grew up in from my very tender age i grew up in the capital mm -hmm. which is yaounde which is not mm. in the sour region mm -hmm. uh, but my parents come from the sour region mm -hmm. so when we were 16 mm -hmm. yeah we moved back to Douala, which is the biggest city of Cameroon and one mm. of the biggest in, in Central Africa. Mm. Um, yeah, millions and millions of people, and it's very hot there, mm -hmm. by the way. Africa. So, yeah. So this is the, the, the coast. You have the sea, rivers, and everything. Mm -hmm. So, and from time to time, we used to go to the the countryside, mm -hmm. what we call village. Yeah. A village. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, and there I was used to listen to this kind of music we call Ngoso, which is like people sing a lot a cappella mm -hmm. when, while they're walking, you know, um, washing the clothes in rivers, walking, you know, and uh, or sometimes singing during the funerals or going to church, you know. Mm -hmm. And that music really, you know, apart from the Western music that we used to, to listen and radio and everything. Right. So when I started 
going out there as an artist so i wanted to bring something that is part of my growing of my culture mm -hmm. so i started singing this kind of this style of music but um, accompanying myself with guitar and harmonica and singing this kind of pentatonic style music who reminds you a bit of the blues um, right state so mm -hmm. this is how people came with that name but yeah it comes from my background do you want to give us a little bit of taste of um, uh, the combination because you you know um, Muntu at the moment he's got his um, harmonica strapped um, you know right in front of him and also his guitar so um, how does that sound but it sounds like this And it sounds so beautiful. <laughs> yeah, actually, this is, a, yeah, this is a sample of a track from my yeah. first album. Yeah, it's called Later. Fantastic. And um, on my right, we have um, the brother as well from Burkina Faso, Bubakar Kafando. And he's got a beautiful one of my favorite instruments, you know, the Kora. And um, he's from Burkina Faso. And I want to say welcome to Galaxy 102.5, Bubakar. Thank you, Pistal. We are happy to be with Galaxy with you today. Fantastic. Yeah. It's good to see you and it's good to have you here. Um, you've just watched Moon to Play there. I mean, we're all like really amazed by that, um, you know, Sour Blues, the style. Um, tell us about, you know, um, Bubakar. You know, Kafando, because um, I've never really met you. I've met you for a friend, Sylvia, and um, you know, you performed, you've been playing several days now, and also you're playing tonight, and you're going to be playing tomorrow at Utunani. But tell us about Bubakar, because you have an amazing band called the Zuma Numa Band. So, who is Bubakar Kafando? Bubakar Kafando is from Burkina Faso, and uh, in the village, it's called Sapone. And there, uh, this family no playing African music. Just I like music, but I love music. Mm -hmm. I played this instrument when I was young. I played the drama after drama. I tried to make my instrument by myself All right. and try to learn by myself. Mm -hmm. And this now I make this band, Zama Noma band, mm -hmm. and this band we play in World Fusion. Right. Yeah, and we bring this sound to London to give good vibes to London people mm -hmm. and to black people, to everyone. Mm -hmm. And we are happy to be here to perform, to do many things. Fantastic. Yeah. It's good to really have you here. So growing up in Burkina Faso, like you said, you didn't come from a family that plays music. Is that right? Yeah, my family don't play music. And, and what draws you closer to Burkina, I mean, the, the, the style of music? Because Burkina Faso have got great musicians. Yeah, we have a great musician. But music and Burkina Faso, we learn everything in on the street. Yeah. Everything right. we can learn in on the street. If you are intelligent, you like it to to African culture, you can learn many things. Uh -huh. And then I see many people play music. Uh -huh. And one day I told myself I need to play this instrument. Right. But this instrument is very misty. Uh -huh. And it can bring me to go by myself uh -huh. everywhere. And then I tried to do music, and I was happy. Fantastic. How old were you when you started, you know, making your own instrument and playing the music? Now, I think it's 15 years ago. Right. I do this. I play this instrument. Before I played different instrument, African instrument like drama. Yes. Talking drum. Yes. 
account. Okay, okay. So the Cora, you know, which you're holding now, you started playing the Cora 15 years ago. Yeah. Fantastic. I mean, 15 years is a, is a long time. That's a long time. You know, and I wish, you know, one day, yeah. you know, I will be playing the Cora like you. Because yeah. it's, it's one of my yeah. favorite, favorite <laughs> instruments, and I really mean it. Welcome this family. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> you know, and you have um, Joel there, um, your, um, your your members, and then um, what is Joel playing? What do Joel do, I mean, in the band? Joel is playing uh, jumbi mm -hmm. and talking drum mm -hmm. and singing as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do here, um, we're going to let um, Joel take up the mic, and um, because it's not fair, for um, them to come in the studio and don't say a word because they've been eagerly waiting. So I want to say, Joel, good afternoon to you. Joel, yes. Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> <laughs> so the English not too... I can translate. Though, you can translate. Yeah. Okay, so, um, you know, it's good to see you, Joel. Yeah, he's content to see you. Oh, I'm happy to see you. Fantastic. I'm happy, I'm happy to see you. I'm happy to see you as well. Very good. I mean, I just think you're a good humor. Yeah, you have a good humor. Good, good mood. <laughs> Thank you very much. You know, I like when these things happen because you know it shows, you know, um, it shows quality of broadcasting. You know, I mean, which is really good. So, you're holding the the talking drum, right? Yeah. Charles, talking drums. Charles, Charles, talking drums. C'est là on appelle ça un un tama. Tama. Or the Tama. Or Tama. Yeah. Right. So, how, you know, long you've been playing the, the Tama? Depuis combien de temps joues-tu du Tama? Uh, depuis, uh, depuis, uh, depuis uh, plus de 15 ans. Uh -huh. More than 15 oh, years. Mais moi, je, avant, j'ai joué du Gembe. Before I used to play Gembe. Du Gembe, j'ai joué du Dum Dum. En fait, After Gembe, I played Dum Dum. Uh -huh. ouais, les, les pecs qui sont plus uh, africains, uh, traditionnels, quoi. Right. Voilà. Okay. Voilà. Les dundum, les yembe, yeah, et yeah, ensuite yeah. les tama. Yeah. Yeah. How how important is music for you? Like what you do? Ah, com comment est-ce que tu peux décrire la musique que tu fais? Com à, um, quelle importance a, a dans ta vie la musique que tu fais? Mais la musique pour moi elle est très importante. Déjà le, ma famille est jouée de la musique. Yeah. Ma famille. C'est ouais. Si, uh -huh. si, si tu veux c'est une histoire du du, du grand père, du uh -huh. père. Yeah, my granddad, well, my dad. It's a question of generation. Generation, generation is past. Yeah. yeah music. Is anybody that we know, we might know the name of? Est-ce qu'il y a quelqu'un qu'on connaît, qui est fameux ou qu'on peut reconnaître, qui est dans ta famille? Euh, non, mais no. moi j'ai eu un peu de la chance de, de grandir dans une famille griot. Yeah, on appelle la famille Kuyate. Yeah, um, he grew up in a family, a big family called Kuyate. Oh, the Kuyate. The Kuyate. Kuyate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Voilà, yeah. voilà donc yeah. c'est pour ça que c'est ça yeah. plutôt qui m'a yeah. plus inspiré dans, yeah. Yeah. dans yeah. la yeah. musique et yeah. le Gembe surtout. Right. Le yeah. Tama. Yeah. You know, lo long ago I, I worked with um, Demba Conte and Kausu Kuyate. Yeah. You know, so, they, they came to London years ago. Yeah. Je, Il y a longtemps, je travaille avec Demba Kouyate, ouais. et Demba Kante. Oui, yeah, Demba Kante et Kaosu Kouyate. Kaosu Kouyate. Kaosu Kouyate, il est venu à Londres, j'ai travaillé okay. avec lui. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Si vous voulez, les Kouyate sont des griots. Euh, Kouyate sont des griots, yes. en yes. West Africa. Oui, yes. yeah. yes. yeah. c'est des Gambia. Yeah. 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 Ouais. Et, et, moi, et moi, je viens d'une famille, euh, en quelque sorte, pas, pas griots, mais en quelque sorte, parce qu'on vient d'une famille euh, qui fait que de la musique. Yeah, right. Et la, moi, moi, mon père, au village, c'était mon père qui portait de, la masque, du masque. Hein, yeah. et, tout. et mon ouais. grand frère jouait, jouait du, de, déjà du bara, c'est yeah. un instrument. Yeah. Euh, uh -huh. Voilà, yeah. donc c'est pour ça uh -huh. que moi, moi je, un peu, je suis un peu né dans la musique hein, et grandi dans la musique. Yeah. I was born in music, yes. I grew up in music. My father used to wear masks during um, festivities. Ah. And my uncle used to play another instrument called Bara? Uh, Bara. Bara. Oh, Bara. Yeah. Fantastic. Do you want to give us a little bit of taste of the tamal you got there? Could you wish one bit of tamal? Thank you very much. We've got something coming here today, this Saturday <laughs> afternoon. Thank you, Joel. Also, we have um, Wally Loom. Good afternoon to you. 
Good afternoon. Yeah. So better, better English. No, no, no. All right. Yeah. French is better. <laughs> but English I mean, is not uh, very well. Well, you know, it's all right. It's all right. You know, maybe it's all right. So you're with the band um, with um, um, Bubakar. Yeah. How long you've been with Bubakar? Uh, it's been um, one years and a half. Yes. Okay. One and a half years. Yeah. All right. And you play? What do you play? Now I play Kama. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe it plays the percussion, congas, ah, Latino congas, conga, bongo. Uh huh. Yeah, and sabah. Right. It's and a sing. Senegal uh, instrument. Yes, sabah. Yes. Yeah. Sabah. Yeah. Piano as well. Uh huh. Sante. All right. Yeah. So oh, you're multi-skilled musician. You yeah. play. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great. You know, uh, it's good because you know all of you play different instruments, so yeah. it's quite good. Yeah. You know. Brilliant. So you enjoy what you're doing? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, really. Okay. <laughs> you know, I'm sure we're going to enjoy that as well today. And uh, we have uh, Mamadou Touré. Yeah. Um, Mamadou Touré is here as well. And um, a brother from, I'm sure they're all from Burkina Faso. No. no. Oh, right. Okay. I didn't ask. From Mali. You yeah. come from Mali? Yes. All right. Welcome. 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 You know, like they were saying, my mother comes from Mali as well, you know, like the Dugan, you know? Yeah. So we have an history, Sierra Leone. Uh, yeah, a lot of people have history from, you know, we're West African, but a lot of Sierra Leone have Malian, Senegal history, you know? Yeah. Cool. yeah. Um, so, I mean, you play the little tom tom there, is that right? We call it tom tom, I don't know this how you. It's a bongo, but I play a drum. I'm a drummer. Oh, you play the drums? Yes. Drums. Oh, okay. Oh, the drum kit, yeah? Yeah. Yes, drum kit. Fantastic. And also you play the djembe as well, I guess. Djembe, dum dum, and all with percussion. So how long you've been um, playing um, the um, percussion for? Um, let's say the drums. I mean, how did you learn to play the drums? Oh, you play a percussion? Yeah. Alors, I play the percussion since I have six years old. No, since when you learned to play the battery? Ah, the battery since I have six years old. Ah, since I'm six years old. Since you're six years old. Yeah. You know, it's funny, you know, because we don't get to see a lot of the African, especially in the motherland, you know, the young generation, you know, children of, uh, like, say, genius children yeah. who started playing from very young age. Yeah. We don't see them until it. Yeah. But that's really good. So you start playing the drum key. Yeah. So that means your, your parents were into the music. Well, of course, Mali is like, you got yeah. to play music. Yeah. En général, on ne voit pas beaucoup d'Africains, en tout cas, on ne le voit pas à la télé, tout des, des génies qui commencent très très tôt en général. Africains, c'est pas, c'est pas, en tout cas, c'est pas vu dans les médias. Mais toi, tu as commencé très 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 jeune. Est-ce que tes parents t'ont encouragé à le faire? Uh, au début, non, parce que moi, je viens pas du tout d'une famille griot. Yeah. So in the beginning, my father didn't encourage me uh -huh. okay, because I'm not from a griot from family. A griot. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, après quand ils ont vu que j'étais, que j'ai persévéré, que j'étais bon, ils ont, ils m'ont, ils me soutiennent maintenant. But when once they, they saw that I'm good at yeah. and I was perceiving and what I was doing, yes. now they like it and they're supporting <laughs> me now. <laughs> They've got no choice, is yeah. it? Yeah, they enjoy the music and everything. <laughs> it's good, it's good. So today, um, how are you feeling about London? How do you feel about London? How do you feel about London? Ah, il pleut beaucoup à Londres, mais euh, it's raining a lot. <laughs> <laughs> mais ça fait du bien de voir des gens, des, des belles filles, à tout ce qu'il faut. Yeah, but it's nice to see people, beautiful girls. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so you come all the way from France, you know, from Mali to France, and then London for the girls. <laughs> see, we got them all here, right? <laughs> all right. So that's good. So I mean, we're gonna have a good time today. I mean, it's good as well because Multivalu has been our interpreter and. And I'm um, also the coordinator for this and um, so we're gonna have something really special today you know because the two bands like mm -hmm. Multivaldo and you know um, um, the, 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 the Zuma Norma band never been together never in a room before so we're gonna have something together but in the meantime do you want to give us a little bit of taste um, of um, uh, Bubaka Kafondo the Z I mean the Zama Norma band mm -hmm. flavor Thank you. 
Amazing, fantastic, thank you very much. That is uh, Bubaka Kafondo and his um, Zama Noma band. Well, on the, at the background there, um, uh, Multivaldo was um, giving his little um, accordion uh, mouth organ there, but it's fantastic. Um, what I'm gonna do, Multi, I'm gonna play one of your albums, No Mercy. Africa is going into 
Amatete misi ambu kenda meneno Kajala veba matonde malodi Obi semona inderi yetiti na bana bakema Wow. So instead of Almost 25 minutes up to the hours of um, three. This is the sound there of Muntu Valdo, my special guest in the house from Cameroon. Such an intriguing style. Also, he's just given me a copy of um, this album, The One and the Many. So if you'd like a copy of this fantastic, acoustic, individual style of playing, well, keep listening. Forget that this nature we came is the God we worship. Could, 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 could you kind of repeat that again? Because, you know, we missed it. <laughs> I think it's really important for us to um, have um, some collection of our brothers and sisters, especially in the motherland. It makes a lot of difference, you know, when you go to Cameroon and you are talking to a Cameroonian, you're telling them about Multo Valdo, especially if you're from London. It makes a lot of difference. It's like me going to Jamaica and I'm bringing all my studio ones, original play. This is incredible. See what I'm saying? Because, you know, we're here to learn and to inspire. You know, and that's exactly what we're doing here. Because what I've just been said, you know, probably we've said it so many times, but the way it's just been put, it's like... That, yeah, that is like, take me for sick. So, no respect for that, Muljavada. So we gods, but we got what they was. But I'm trying to promote the, the, the God part of us. We have mm. to be God in mm-hmm. the sense that we have to be kind to ourselves. Mm. We have to create life. We have to, but instead of destroying life. And wow. Wow. Bubakar, I mean, you, you just had there what um, Multi was saying, Yeah. yeah about the concept of um you know worship and um the creator you know that what we see around you know we kill it and what we don't see we're trying to protect it yeah you know what what is the concept in burkina faso growing up you know the the belief system there in burkina faso yes the system yeah the belief system like belief system is not really easy for everyone it's really out. Yeah, there are a lot of Muslims or a lot of Christians there. Muslim, uh-huh. Christ, uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. and Protestant, uh-huh. Evangelic. Uh-huh. Yeah, everyone try to go many way. Uh-huh. Yeah, but we have a culture, uh-huh. a traditional. Yeah. But mm-hmm. old father yeah. living with the ancestral. Yeah. Yeah. We everyone do this way before to be Muslim, Christian, and. And Protestant, yeah, or Protestant, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. the old Christian, but, but yeah, but before we are animist, right? Yeah, animist, everyone in Africa and Burkina Faso, uh-huh. it's this animist uh-huh. before Musulman, uh-huh. Greece, uh-huh. yeah, Protestant. So, what is the concept? What is your concept about God? My concept about God, God, yeah, me, I think, or Allah, I, yeah, or what, yeah, I think about human being. Mm. The sound when we're gonna listen to now, mm-hmm. after mm-hmm. with my sound mm-hmm. news album coming soon, mm-hmm. I talking about human being. Right. Yeah, but everyone got your spirit, uh-huh. got your protection, uh-huh. and uh, we need to respect everyone uh-huh. and try to make everything the same together uh-huh. to make good vibes and good things. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. You know, talking about that multi, um, multi, you. On your, one of your albums, because you know you just like kind of break down the God concept for us here. 
you know, no, 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 no. It's a good thing because yeah, right. you know, you know, if you don't, it, if you don't respect what you see, yeah, you know, it's a madness trying to protect what you don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I mean, that is good. When I say you break it down, yeah, that's really good because yeah. you know the way you've put it as well. Yeah. Um, it's quite good. You know, it's it's like a music. It's like yeah. the sour blues into, of course. you know. But you got a track there, Witchcraft, yeah, on your album, Limba, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, why did you um, decided to write a song about witchcraft? Because it's a recurrent, you know, story in, in for people anyway. All my brothers here, you as well, coming from Africa, we know there's no natural death. Somebody is dead. Oh, is that auntie who kill her? Mm. Who kill him? Mm. Oh, is that person who jealous? <laughs> so we have wish everywhere in the in the world in everything. You know, we we believe in witchcraft like like we believe in I don't know everywhere. Like hunger, like you yeah. hungry have to eat. So I, I was yeah. saying that witchcraft actually is not an imaginary or an uncle or somebody who kills you. Witchcraft is just bad thoughts about other people. So ah. as as soon as you. You, you, you started thinking bad ah. about somebody or wanting somebody to have ah. something bad to, to happen to him, you uh -huh. wish. But I tell you what, you know, this is kind of amazing because in just like within five minutes or so, you're breaking down this whole concept that we struggle with. You know, because the idea of a bad thought, yeah. you know, is, is a conjure of um, witchcraft. You yeah, know what I mean? So yeah, you're, that's it. Yeah, bad so, thought is witchcraft. So I tell people, don't mm. believe that. Oh, um, because your child is 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 sick or illness, or there's a devil put on him or whatever. The fact that we, we always think, but you know, we we jealous about our neighbors. Yeah, we want maybe. Um, somebody a member of family we, get, we didn't give us money uh -huh. we think bad about him uh -huh. we already wish and won't be surprised that some bad something bad happened to that person it uh -huh. came from our thoughts so this is what i want to tell people so uh -huh. be positive in your thinking yeah. and always think positively nicely about yeah. the people you think you you like or you love you know this is very powerful because you know, Boba, can you understand? Yeah. You know, like when you think bad things, you know, the idea of witchcraft in, in Africa yeah. is like when, you know, when, especially when people sick and they die, you know, people say, oh, it's witchcraft. It's yeah. because they don't think that when you're born, you have to die. Yeah. That's you understand? True. It's true. Yeah. It's true. Yes, yeah, it's true, really. Yeah. What do you say is true, Muntu? Yeah, I think the same. Because, you know, when it's like, if, if we all have symptoms, let's put it that way. If we all have the symptom of being a witch, yeah. All right. So now let, let's forget about what, what is it called? What is this play called again? Uh, uh, um, the, the one that the children listen. Um, this um, the witchcraft um, book. Uh, Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Yeah. <laughs> so we can all forget about Harry Potter now, and we can actually think that oh, I possess that element, but. It's like as much as what we think about other people yeah. that is bad. Mm -hmm. What about how we can think about ourselves? But this is the thing. Sometimes we we ignore that um, things that happen to us coming from are uh, coming from our thought because I think I, I strongly believe that thought are are physical are things. You know, mm. the way you think about yourself <laughs> materializes itself. So ah. sometimes. Three years, four years, five years, something happened to you, mm -hmm. you you won't even know or realize that is what you thought mm -hmm. in the you know mm -hmm. in the past that makes things happen. So we should be very careful about our thinking mm. day by day. You're very true because you know this whole thing about relationship, because this yeah. morning here they were talking about fathers, you know. Uh -huh. You know, here in this country in this part it's impossible for fathers. Yeah. And so many things are happening. Yeah. But you know, sometimes, you know, we, we've all been victim, you know, yeah. I mean, of um, not able to see our children. Yeah. But when you kind of look into it, not everybody deserves not to see their children. Yeah. But at the same time, if people are in the position whereby, you know, especially when you've checked yourself, you know that you've, you're not a bad man, you don't contribute to all this. If the mother is trying to take the children away from you, mm -hmm. you know, what I've actually thought about is that when you begin to think bad say like okay now i'm not seeing my children now i don't want to see no children because i don't see my children and i hate all children yeah. it's like 
she has put a witch on you yeah and you are making it manifest by saying that of now course. that this have happened so, to you so we have to be very mm. careful if look like you take that example let's let's say a woman went with your children yeah who is who are also her children yes so even though they go you should not curse those children yes. or that woman because when you we should be very careful about what we say ah. because it, it, it could become a curse and then and then some an accident happened to your child yeah then you blame who yeah. you won't know that is you ah you blame the person you know who interact with him but so we we should be very careful about what words yeah our thoughts yeah and our words yeah are the most powerful to actually god is is a word yeah god acts with word is a word he said it in the bible as well but also this is like you've just um kind of awakened some 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 thought and experiences i mean not only just me but a lot of people listening because what you said i mean i can agree to it this is a story i've never told anyone right yeah. you know over 20 years ago i um we lost our elder sister yeah all right she was pregnant yeah and um you know you know you know like when people swear all the time like you know you they tell you think oh yeah i will see you. oh i was there i was there if you don't believe me i swear to this and i swear to that yeah. you know what i'm saying people do that to make people believe what they're saying yeah and so she was standing outside, you know, there was having a little confusion or uh, an argument with somebody. Mm -hmm. And she said, oh, if it's not true, when I go to give birth, let me die. Oh, you see? And I tell you what, when she said that, something just, and I felt very, very bad because yeah. I don't like people to swear to convince me that yeah. they're saying the truth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and that was it. She, and when and that she was gave it. birth, and that was she, it. She, she died. And that was it. So sometimes even people curse themselves. With, they don't know. Mm. Or especially when you're angry, you should be very careful because when we're angry, we say things that sometimes we don't mean, mm. but we forget that once your word is already out, out there, you won't come back. <sighs> you we don't know where our thoughts are going. So yes, yeah, so it's very and important. It's true because I always remind you know um, listeners, and I always say this as well that you know for me my philosophy is slow to speak and quick to understand. But let's take now this track from Witchcraft because it's actually ignites some real energy here on us here in the studio. I'm sure you listeners as well listening. Yeah. This is Multivado from his album The One and the Many Witchcraft. Limba. <laughs> Bubakar, you've got your music as well. Although your album is not out yet. Um sorry, your album is not out yet, but um you do have something for us to listen to yeah okay what is the name of that track uh, dunizugu dunizugu yeah um let's let's hear the sound of um the the um dunizugu <laughs> yes sir yes sir yeah Yes, sir. Give thanks. How are you, sir? Yes. Yes. Is that Tony? Long time, man. Yes. Yes, sir. Same to you, sir. a really really good track yeah thank you thank you, you. Yeah. and um, when is the album coming out uh, in January all right yes, uh, January and what's what's the name of the album uh, this album is calling and friends for passive DVZ uh -huh. we don't never broken yeah. right everyone we need to put your hand together yes no broken Africa don't never broke everyone don't never broke yes uh, Yes. calling in my new album yes uh, fantastic for DVZ. fantastic yeah. you know also um, you know, I know the you know the transformation. It's not easy for an African born in Africa yeah. and then coming into Europe, you know, to look for a so-called better life. Yes. You know, um, what is your experience in um, you know what you've seen in Burkina Faso, the life, the culture, and in France, the life, the culture, the system, 
and now you're here in London doing, you know, what is your experience so far in terms of what you've gathered about what you've experienced about Africans in, in the diaspora? Yeah, in my experience, I've got this world and this planet, and me, I think, I think we need to keep the culture with us to bring people. When we have our African culture with us, we can give people the reality way, the true way, and to think good thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Life is not easy mm -hmm. in Europe, in Africa, everywhere in this planet. Mm -hmm. It's really hard. But when we bring music, mm -hmm. art, mm -hmm. with us to give people, we give people the reality way. Yeah, it's not easy to play music, to do music everywhere. Mm -hmm. But we do music by self before, mm -hmm. after giving to people good vibes and good things. All right. I mean, I know as a musician, you know, you, you play for everybody. Yeah. You know, you... And again, yeah. I make a cultural center, the cultural center in Burkina Faso to help the children. Tell us about that. Yeah. Tell us, because that's what I'm talking about, your experience, you know, being in born in Burkina Faso and you travel to France, yeah. you know, France was the people that came to your country and they do everything, they change your mind, they change your clothes and everything. everything. And you went to France and what you saw, maybe it was different. And yes, you're right. thinking they're going to hug you and they're going to think we all won. Maybe it was not the same for you. So tell us about what, why made you decided to go build a center in your country. Me, I go to build the center in my country, but I need everywhere to bring people to come to Africa to see. Mm -hmm. And bring Africa people come to Europe to travel to see the world. Mm -hmm. And then after we can make everything fusion together. And this is my ID first. Mm -hmm. And where, like this, I make the cultural center 2010 mm -hmm. in my village, mm -hmm. where I make the school for the children to study mm -hmm. how to learn music how to learn to make african instrument mm -hmm. how to do everything mm -hmm. and every year sometime i go there to make the festival to give an opportunity an african artist to play with a good sound with the good people mm -hmm. and yeah to give them reality vibes reality groove mm -hmm. for the people yeah and yeah, to get back, people, friends, mm -hmm. come there, yeah, the engineer, producer, producer come there to see the musician, mm -hmm. yeah, and everyone mm -hmm. was happy. Right. Yeah, what is my, what I'm thinking about to do music, yeah, yeah, to, for myself and for the people. Right, I mean, yesterday you um, played at, um, you played at the bedroom. Yeah. Yeah, you played at the bedroom on, on well, my, my day's yeah. night is actually Thursday, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, how, how was that experience for you? Uh, it was good. Yeah. Uh, it was good. We have a, we, yeah, we have a lot of fun days, people there. Mm -hmm. uh, we're making warm, mm -hmm. yeah, with the good vibes. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we are happy, me, with my band. Mm -hmm. And last night, we performed again mm -hmm. at Crystal Palace. Mm -hmm. It was good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, every day is different. Right. Yeah, but why are we looking out for? Yes. Looking for to perform to so this group. Yes. And the people. The yeah. people know how Zamano Maben, how Bubakar Kafando. Yeah, what we're doing. And we're doing a lot. And we are happy to be here this Galaxy Radio. Yeah, to talking about you. Thank you, Pistai. Nice one. Yeah. So, Wally, um, yourself, I mean, how do you felt with the performance um, at the bedroom and yesterday performance? Uh, in French, you can translate. Yeah, I can translate. Yeah. Uh, alors, c'était assez. Les, je pense que les gens ont été assez surpris. Yeah, people were really, de la really surprised yeah. with the music. Je sais pas s'ils avaient l'habitude. Maybe they were not used Mais to. Mais ça a été vraiment super. Uh, les great. gens nous ont bien accueillis. Uh -huh. well, yeah, welcome was very well. Alors, c'était right. plutôt chaud. Les gens ont dansé. Yeah. Il y avait une autre soirée au-dessus, yeah. les gens en descendant s'arrêtaient pour yeah. écouter la musique. Il y avait une autre partie upstairs, mais yeah. tout le monde était venu. Ah, où la partie était, oui La musique était comme, c'est génial. Donc, c'était une bonne atmosphère. Oui, vraiment. Et Joël, comment vous vous sentez aussi Je me sens bien. 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 Je me sens bien.
Ouais, ouais. Comment est-ce que tu te sens ouais. Comment, ouais. comment je me sens Ouais, comment tu te sens et comment tu as senti les, les concerts d'hier Les concerts, euh, moi personnellement, euh, euh, je trouve euh, que en fait, déjà le public euh, de Londres, I think the public here ils, sont, ouais, ils sont vraiment, c'est un public vraiment comment, assez joyeux. Mm -hmm. voilà. Et, mm -hmm. voilà. et, et nous, à chaque fois, parce qu'on a, on a déjà joué à. Euh, euh, la fois dernière à Otlani. Yeah, ça m'a voilà, donné vraiment beaucoup de plaisir de revenir à Londres yeah, pour, ouais, pour jouer d'autres concerts. Come back in London ouais. to do other concerts. Voilà, et vraiment, justement, comme il disait Walid, euh, en fait, le concert, quand on est venu jouer, mm. les gens ne s'attendaient pas à voir un groupe mm -hmm. si puissant, je veux dire. Yeah, si mm. je peux exagérer. Yeah, 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 they were not... voilà. Et il y en a même qui disaient, mais ce n'est pas possible. Comment ça se fait que c'est même pas payant pour rentrer Ah, ouais. Oh, even surprised that it was free to, to right. come and see such yes. a beautiful and powerful music. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Parce que tellement qu'ils étaient surpris et, et nous, nous, ça nous a beaucoup touché, ça nous a and fait plaisir. Really hein. touch and, ouais. yeah, and please. Fantastic. Voilà. Et on aimerait vraiment euh, redécouvrir encore plus euh, Londres. Yeah, and we like to discover even more. Yeah. Like pourquoi pas dans les festivals Pourquoi oh, pas dans yeah, les maybe événements Maybe festivals. Quoi. Yes. And, yeah. Great. So how is life in Paris? Comment est la vie à Paris? Comparé la... à Londres, Alors, la vie à Paris, après ça reste euh, le, le côté métro, métropole, yeah, 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 ouais. yeah, it's still a big city, metropolitan, you know. C'est sûr que, en fait, le méthode, en fait, c'est bizarre, c'est que on on n'est pas loin de, de l'autre, entre Paris et Londres. Yeah, Paris et Londres is in here, but... Mais la vie, tu as l'impression, la vie de de Londres et Paris, j'ai l'impression que c'est à l'inverse. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you might think it's completely different, two different worlds. Yeah. But Déjà, a different world, but they're just nearby. Right. Déjà la circulation. <laughs> yes, 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 yeah. yes. You can walk in it. People are walking every day to come to London, yeah. from and Paris. Je trouve qu'ils sont plus très yeah. réglo. Ils sont tout, ils sont plus réglo. Il y, a, il y a des choses qui sont assez surprenantes. Mais, mais dans l'ensemble, je trouve que l'ambiance, ça reste une ambiance. Euh, Uh, grande ville quoi. Grande yeah, ville quoi Paris, still a big city like Paris. Donc on n'est right. pas, yeah. on n'est pas carrément dépaysé quoi. Yeah, we're not mm. completely, you know, out of. Uh, right, right. You know, when you see um, the African brothers and sisters, you know, um, the way we are living here in Andrew, London, Paris, les Africains, les, les Africains ouais, qui vivent ici à Paris ou à Londres. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we're speaking different languages, yeah, you know. Different language. well, yeah. And how do you feel like sometimes you want to communicate, but you can't? I mean, how does that make you feel? Qu'est-ce que ça te fait de savoir que parfois tu veux communiquer avec tes frères africains et tout, mais tu ne peux pas parce que tu as la barrière de la langue. Wow. Ça, c'est ça qui est vraiment une question que, que j'adore. Yeah, <laughs> parce que, ouais, like, parce que je, moi, je suis quelqu'un qui aime parler. J'aime bien, like bien parler, uh -huh. j'aime yeah. bien communiquer, like j'aime bien vraiment comment découvrir yeah. les autres. Like yeah. Et malheureusement, yeah. quand je me retrouve coincé, yeah. et que, yeah. que je deviens vraiment comme un chaud, que, yeah. que je ne comprends pas ce que yeah. je veux dire, yeah. et que je n'arrive pas à m'exprimer, mm. je, je deviens triste. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm really sad because sometimes when I find myself I cannot communicate, mm. I cannot exchange yeah. with other people, mm. I feel really sad about it. Mm. Ouais, il y a juste ça, ça c'est moi qui me. Yeah, mais sinon, mais sinon, c'est c'est fabuleux de, de voir, hein, c'est vraiment de voir les de, 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 des Africains yeah. qui s'expriment en anglais même euh, ou dans d'autres dans d'autres langues. Yeah. Yeah. C'est tu as, as envie de découvrir, de comprendre des et yeah. c'est vraiment comment ça, ça c'est le côté voyage. Yeah. Yeah, c'est une découverte. Yeah. Et mais je like the fact that ça, when ça you travel, you see doing different stuff mm -hmm. that is good about traveling yes yeah. but yeah the side things i cannot communicate sometimes right which one will be easier for you is it communicating in in french or communicating in your african language qu'est-ce qui serait plus facile pour toi ou qu'est-ce que tu aimerais plus communiquer en français ou alors communiquer en ta langue maternelle ben, c'est sûr qu'il n'y a pas photo. Ah, c'est un choix, c'est un C'est comme on dit, c'est les Français disent que c'est gros comme une maison. Yeah. J'aimerais bien pouvoir communiquer avec ma, ma yeah. langue. Oui, yeah, ou like to, to, to communiquer ouais. avec ma langue. Parce que j'ai la facilité, j'ai la facilité de parler. Et quand je parle à ma langue, uh -huh. ben, disons que 
je pense que comment, ma voix, ah. elle emporte encore plus. Hein. Yeah. 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 I speak with my language, ouais, donc, yeah, it means more. And, yeah. Yeah. Donc j'aimerais yeah. pouvoir parler plus ma langue. Yeah. Mais malheureusement, aujourd'hui, il y a une chose que je me dis, je me dis, il faut que j'apprends l'anglais. Parce que yeah, partout, but... partout dans le monde, quand tu pars, tu peux parler. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Now, yeah, I feel, I, I feel like yeah. I want to study English because uh -huh. at least when you travel all over the world, it's yeah. English. Right. Yeah. Fantastic. And then, um, Mamadou, um, you know, my brother from Mali. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, a very, very wonderful country. We all know about Mali and Sundia Takeda. And um, a great man, you yeah. know, and um, Salifu as well. You know, it's a great, and you got a Timbuktu there. It's a, it's a great city in Africa. Yeah. You know, a lot of um, education in, in, in um, Timbuktu. You know, a great university for the world, you know. And um, now that you are here in London, and, um, and this great city of uh, Mali and all the contribution, the knowledge in terms of African science and, um, you know, money and culture, you know, and now you are here in London and maybe you don't see many of us wearing um, our African traditional, you know, dress and things. How does that make you feel as a Malian? Yeah. Bah, tu viens d'un pays extraordinaire, avec une grande culture, le Mali, une grande université, Tombouctou, qui a influencé le monde de la science, de la culture, euh, et, et tout un grand pays avec des gens comme Sundi Takeita, Salifou et tout le reste. Maintenant, tu te retrouves ici dans cette grande ville de Londres et tu nous vois, nous les Africains, par exemple, on n'est pas habillé en nos apparats traditionnels et tout, et puis on embrasse la culture occidentale. Qu'est-ce que cela te dit, de, alors que toi qui viens d'un grand pays, quand même, de grande culture, qu'est-ce que cela te dit de voir les Africains ici ne pas embrasser entièrement leur culture bah, moi je trouve ça dommage parce qu'il faut quand même pas oublier de l'on vient. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Mais après on vit dans un monde où maintenant c'est la mondialisation donc c'est bien qu'il y ait un mélange. Moi, mes parents sont maliens, mais moi j'ai grandi en France, donc j'ai la double culture. Yeah. Mm. So like um, my father, my parents are mm. from Mali, mm. but I grew up in France, mm. um, so I have this kind of mm. double culture, mm. uh, French and Malian. All right, okay. So you were grew up in in, in Mali. No, no, you grew up in France. in France. Oh, you were born in France, is it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, have you, you you've been to Africa, Mali? Yeah. Of course. And um, you speak the um, the Malian language. Do you say the Bam Bamba 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 you, you speak that? No, you see, no, you very little, little bit. bit. Very little? Yeah, because, I regret, I regret yeah, that. He was born in France, grew up in France, so he regrets not to be able to speak it very well. Because my parents have learned French, so they speak French. Yeah, so my parents used mm -hmm. to speak French mm -hmm. more. That is very interesting because even though you're born in Paris, but yet still you learn how to play the African instrument. Yeah. So, I mean, that must be uh, very skillful as well. Yeah, yeah see, it's important to know because you're born in Paris. Mais tu as quand même voulu jouer la, la musique africaine, so, ça demande une certaine, une certaine qualité. Quoi. Oui, après, euh, bon, j'ai vu, parce que comme mes parents étaient en France, il y avait plein de vidéos de mariage au village, tout ça, ouais. et j'avais trop envie d'être dans l'ambiance, donc c'est ça qui m'a donné envie en fait. Yeah. So, um, my parents, they had a lot of videos of um, things happening in Mali, like weddings, where mm. people play mm. our music, so, and I like it, and I wanted to do it. When you went to Mali, did you like it there? You think uh, you wanted to stay there for a long time? Quand tu es allé au Mali, est-ce que tu as aimé? Est-ce que tu tu penses que tu tu aurais eu envie de rester là-bas beaucoup plus longtemps? Ah oui, j'aurais dû rester plus là-bas. D'ailleurs, je retourne au mois de février là. Ah yes, I, I wanted to stay there. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm going back in February. Fantastic, fantastic. That's really good. Well, you're listening to Freestyle Interactive Show here and in fine style because um, we have a special guest from Burkina Faso and that was the voice there of Mamaru Touré and um, an interpreter there is also uh, a musician, um, a guitarist, Multivaldo and um, we have um, Bubakar Kafondo and um, we have Joel Kabula and um, this is a really fine style of radio broadcasting and um, this show will be uploaded on my Mixcloud 
Wow, so really that's, um, what do you call it? Is it? The French um, accent is quite, uh, is it la or something? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm sure a lot of women are like, hey, I'm melting. <laughs> well, he's right here. Multivaldo from his album, the very first one, Gods and Devil, and you know it's one of the same. So we're going to have um, a live music now, because um, we only have a few more minutes to go, and I'm sure it's a busy day for you tonight, um, Bubakar, yeah. and um, also Multivaldo. So um, something has never been done before. Um, I'm not sure, probably as a musician, you're ready to deliver all the time. So what is going to happen now, um, I don't know who's going to take the lead, but um, yes, um, Bubakar is going to take the lead and um, we're going to have a really good session this afternoon, something that could take our listeners um, back to a place where, you know, it's all really cozy and beautiful, right? So this is a, a live session um, in the studio from uh, very own uh, Bubakar. Cafondo and his um, Zuma Noma band alongside Multu Valdo from Cameroon. So take it away. Together. Together. <laughs>
Wow, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> well done. So, right. Um, well, it's good to hear you from here and it's good to see you here on Galaxy 102.5 and thank I really you. thank you. Um, Joel and I thank you, Amadou and I thank you, um, 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 Wally for coming in today and also Matthew, um, Matthew, Matthew. Your, your bass guitar yeah, player. Yeah. You know, thank you very much for coming in and also thank um, Sylvia for bringing, you know, um, Bubakar here today. Ah, yes, yes. <laughs> of course, we have a photographer here and a fairy designer. She is here. Ash, thank you very much for that. It's a really an interesting and um, uh, show today. So, if you missed the beginning of the show, you just tune in and um, you missed it. But not not really because you can listen back again on my mix cloud. That's DJ Freestyle. That's mix cloud DJ Freestyle or via my. Um, website as London. Well, which track should I play from your um, album Motor before you go? Um, the, the third called Dimala. Dimala? Yeah, the third one. Okay, you want to tell us about Dimala? Yeah, Dimala means um, wherever we go, uh -huh. you know, um, um, we have to be humble because we don't know where um, the wind will take us, you know, we don't know where the sun is coming from, but we feel it. So we travel uh, all of us, you know, we travel because even being in this earth is already a journey. Ah, yeah. So, um, so wherever the earth will take us, mm -hmm. we'll go. Fantastic. So thank you very much for coming in and um, wish you all the best, my brothers. Um.